Welcome to this episode of Learning QuickBooks. Today we're going to talk about how to issue a refund. Before you even start, the first thing you need to do is make sure you have the right settings. To do that, you click in your gear sign, you go to Accounts and Settings, go to Advanced, and go where it says Automation, Automatically Apply Credit. You want to make sure that is turned off. So if it's checked, you uncheck it and you click Save. Once that is that, click on the Done here. And then now we can go to the customer we want to refund their invoice. So here, in this case, we're trying to refund this amount of um, the $375 that was uh, made. So we want to refund this $375. So to do that, we'll need to create a credit memo. So we create credit memo. So you want the information from the original invoice. So it's Amy. You know, whatever the product was, because that's what we're refunding. And then you might just want to put a memo, like refund whatever invoice number it was. And for 375. And then we save and close that. Now that credit memo will show up on our accounts as unapplied. So we haven't applied it yet. So we can do two things. We can leave it there as unapplied and apply to a future or another invoice or we can issue a refund. To do that, we'll need to write a check. So you go to the plus sign up here, you create a check to Amy Bird, and then the account will be account receivable to refund. You just want to put a memo refund for invoice number what, uh, whatever, and then you want to put her name here too. And basically that ties it to her. So we save and close that. And then when we come back to her customer center, to her detailed customer transaction, we can now apply that check by creating a new payment to the credit memo. So that check number seven over just real, we want to apply that to the credit memo. And so that way we, that's, we can finally close the, the, the chain of transactions because if you don't apply it, it, then it just remains open. So we want to make sure that we go on until everything shows closed. And basically if things do not show closed, until either it's been paid or, you know, after after your payment is made. So you want to go on to the last phase where QuickBooks can close the account by clicking the payments and then up making sure you apply the check to the open credit. So that way we know it's been used up and we're not QuickBooks is not trying to tell you it's available for another invoice.